Hello friends, welcome back. The stories we tell ourselves during complication and the power of choice. In this video, I'll be talking about what stories we tell ourselves. Let us think what and how we think about during a complication. Why I want to talk about it is because there is a option of choice in our thinking when we have a complication. The normal tendency might be to go into a reactive mode where we take decisions which are not very conscious. They are based upon fear, anxiety, irritability. But we have a choice where we can make conscious decisions and make better outcomes. Coming back to the case, he is a 95 year old gentleman. He is having an NS4 grade cataract. And therefore, I decide to do a slightly larger excess of 5.5 millimeter in size, where I realize the zonules are slightly weaker. And therefore, after the bimanual rotation, I insert a prophylactic CTR in the bag. The machine being used is Legion. And in my left instrument, I am using 1.5 millimeter Patwardhan chopper. I start with the half trench. My aim is to do it to the 70 to 80 percent of the depth. During the trenching, I realize that the tip, exposed tip part is very small for this grade of cataract. And this was called difficulty, especially during the chopping maneuver. So therefore, I enlarge the exposed tip. After I have completed the trenching part, I start with the chopping of the second half. For this, I bury into the wall that I have created and use the left instrument to pierce slightly on the side of the probe. I ensure that the division is complete till the posterior plate, turn the nucleus 180 degree and then complete the chopping so that the center is properly divided. Now I have two hemineucleus. My plan is to divide each hemineucleus into three pieces. And I do the multi-level chopping in both the hemineucleus. After that, I start with the quadrant removal. In this, here, in the first piece, I did one mistake. I selected the piece which was slightly attached at the center. I tried the sickle maneuver to separate the piece, but it came slightly anterior and the endothelium was slightly compromised by this step. Rest of the quadrant removal was uneventful. In between, there was multiple replenishment of the high viscosity viscoelastic. I used Hylucote in this case. And after the pieces, in the last piece, I decreased the settings and I turned on the retro illumination mode to find if there were any fluctuation in the posterior capsule. Here in this case, I would like to highlight on the cortex removal part. Now you can notice when I am doing the routine pulling of the cortex towards the center, there is a spring back action of the cortex. It's not coming easily, which is because the CTR is there in the back, which is preventing the cortex from coming directly to the aspiration probe. The rest of the parts where the CTR is not there, the cortex is easily removed. So when I change my direction along the CTR tangential movement, then I am able to remove the cortex. We have to realize this part when we have inserted the CTR in the bag. Of course, in some parts of the cortex, we might have to peel the cortex from the center to the periphery along the posterior capsule, especially in the ends of the CTR where the cortex might be more entangled in the CTR like in this case. Well, finally, the case was completed and I was relaxed and I was inserting the lens by hydro implantation. During the insertion of the lens, I realized one thing that the haptic was broken. Well, you can think what is going on in my mind at this moment and it is slightly frustrated moment for me that this is not done. But thankfully, I was able to pick up the change in my attitude at this time where I was trying to go into the victim or the anger mode towards the new assistant and I realized that I can change the story. 
I talk to myself that I have not handled a broken lens for last few months and this is a good opportunity for me to practice the lens removal. This changed my attitude and my mentality and I was in fact slightly excited now to handle the broken lens. First step was protecting the endothelium by putting good viscosity viscoelastic in the chamber. Now after removing the lens in the anterior chamber a very important step is to orient the lens properly so that there is a space for the scissor to enter. It should be slightly away from the tunnel. After the orienting I am using the Chang's lens cutting scissors. In the, my left instrument I have used 1.5 millimeter Patwardhan's chopper. Because I have used the high viscosity viscoelasty, you can see that the chamber is not collapsing which is giving me the time to do the maneuvers. Here one mistake I am doing is I am not supporting the lens on my left side. So it is getting pushed to the angles which I realized and therefore I used my left instrument to anchor the lens so that I am able to cut it easily just beyond the center. This is the Chang's scissors. After the cut is made, I use the lens holding forceps and the hold of this forceps is very good. Once you hold it properly, you can just torque it along the main tunnel and the lens is very easy to remove. Well, the rest of the case was uneventful. The lens was inserted and visco was washed. My purpose of sharing this case was to discuss that when we have unfavorable conditions during the surgery like for example there is a complication there is an uncooperative patient there is a mistake by the assistant or by ourselves the normal human tendency might be to become irritated angry or fearful the problem with that scenario is that it affects our decision making now how our thoughts create our chemistry is in these cases our brain will release cortisol and adrenaline which will make us reactive and defensive and our mentality will be survival mode. However, if we want our higher brain, our prefrontal cortex to make the decision, we have to come to the present moment, accept it with the raw facts and then make the decision. For example, if there is a broken haptic rather than reacting that this assistant did not see it or oh no it is my first case in my list and already I have a complication we have to observe the raw fact okay there is a problem and now what I know to solve it rather than spiraling and creating a negative story let us come and make a better story to our mind so that we can shift to problem solving Tell a better story to ourselves so that we can make better decisions. Thank you and for more such videos, please subscribe to the channel.